Well, most businesses would fail if they didn't change much in 100 years. But as Mike Shu reports, those who flock to a small business in West Baltimore wouldn't have it any other way. A hundred years ago, Lewis Reb made chocolates out of his home. A pound at a time, business was so good, he and his relatives expanded to the garage out back. The garage, dressed up with windows and a door with knotty pine walls, became the store. And for decades, their customers have lined the block, waiting to snag a box of Rebs. Now, Elaine Katz passes on the tradition. Ready? Yeah. Ready to see how it smells. At this very moment, the granddaughters Abby and Ella are hooked. The magic happens behind a tiny door in the basement next door. Trays of dipped cherries, oceans of dark chocolate, rows of decadence. Fistfuls of caramels, hand-formed buttercreams, and gooey delicious pools of chocolate are everywhere mm -hmm. you look. What's that? That is our super, super top secret recipe book. Jared is part of the family the and says, though, there is a secret book. It's all passed down from one generation to the next. Every one of these ingredients are missing something. Yeah. So oh. even if you had this, you couldn't replicate. You At the store, the box. seeds so are planted. Can they have a piece now? The sure. Reb family knows without such traditions, this business would just be a fond memory. We love our customers. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here for a hundred years. This is yeah. this is truly a Baltimore tradition. I I for me it certainly is, and I'm making it theirs. I love it. I would eat the whole store. Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News. Me too. In honor of their customers, each one who came in yesterday was given a free box of candy for their anniversary. Wow! Yeah, I wish I'd known nice. that before yesterday. The line was around the block. I bet.